ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ అండ్ శుక్ర శుభ ఫ్రమ్ ఆదర్శ విద్యామందిర్ శుక్ర విద్యాపీఠ మౌంట్ అబు ఫర్ ట్వెల్వ్ కంటిన్యూ అవర్ టాపిక్ బయోటెక్నాలజీ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ అండ్ ప్రాసెస్ వీఆర్ లెర్నింగ్ డిఎన్ఏ రికాంబినెంట్ టెక్నాలజీ ద ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఆఫ్ డిఎన్ఏ రికాంబినెంట్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇస్ ద సెపరేషన్ అండ్ ఐసోలేషన్ ఆఫ్ డిఎన్ఏ ఫ్రాగ్మెంట్ ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఐసోలేట్ ద డిఎన్ఏ ఫ్రాగ్మెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫారెన్ డిఎన్ఏ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫారెన్ ఆర్గానిజం then we have to separate the dna from the main dna by the use of restriction enzymes restriction endonuclease and restriction exonuclease enzyme restriction exonuclease enzyme cut the dna from the ends from both the ends and these are exonuclease enzyme exo means outer portion so exonuclease enzyme is used for cutting from the ends and endonuclease enzyme is cutting the fragment from the, within the ends so we use the restriction endonuclease enzyme for cutting the dna fragments then these dna fragments can be separated by j electrophoresis this method that is j electrophoresis in this method we use the agarose gel and also use the ethylene bromide for stirring so uh, we know that dna is a negatively charged particle dna uh, is a negatively charged particle so it moves towards the anode under the electric field in this process the gel electrophoresis dna is moves towards the anode and we separate the dna fragments they can be visualized after the staining by ethylene bromide ethylene bromide is used for the staining of dna dna fragments so uh, they are separated uh, according to the small and larger size and after the staining with ethylene bromide we followed by the uv radiations uv uv radiations is applied on the dna fragments and they provide the light orange color to the bands the large and small bands and what is elution elution the separated bands of dna cut from the agarose gel agarose gel uh, uh, the dna fragments are cut with the agarose gel then uh, excreted from the gel base this process is known as elution so elution is the process of separation of pure dna from the agarose gel so the next is the cloning vector Uh, the cloning vector just like the bacteriophages of the plasmid dna they multiplies the foreign dna with the host dna and vector uh, what are the features of in the vector they have the ori ori means origin of replication origin of replication that is uh, the starting point the initiation point for the multiplication and the second one is selectable marker selectable marker are necessary for the transformation for the transformation process and cloning sites or the recombination sites we can say for antibiotic resistant disease like bn at one for the tetracycline now here is a vector dna it's a e coli cloning vector that is pbr 3 double t you can see this is the circular dna and uh, here the dna can be separated in different recombination sites like this is salmon this is bn h1 for tetracycline this is hind third clav1 this is e cor1 this is pbu first this is pbu pbu first and this is pbu second and this is pst first for mpc and this is the ori ori is starting point origin of replication so this is the plasmid dna and it acts as a cloning vector the foreign dna connect with this plasmid by the help of restriction enzymes restriction enzymes are also known as nuclear scissors so with the help of nuclear scissors or restriction enzyme the foreign uh, dna is connected with it and uh, the dna ligase dna ligase is the enzyme which helpful in the uh, joining of foreign dna with plasmids 
and uh, after this the transformation uh, is done by the micro injections of the gene gull process. Micro injection is a simple technique uh, by which uh, the foreign DNA is injected into the bacterial cell. But gene gull is the bombardment of uh, these DNA particles. Now uh, the process of recombinant technology it includes the five steps. What are the five steps? The first one is isolation of genetic material. Genetic material is DNA in maximum organism. So by the help of restriction and nucleus and exonuclear inject, we can cut the DNA fragments, then treating them uh, by the lysogenes in bacterial cell, lysogenes enzyme, and cellulase. Cellulase is the enzyme which is used in the plant for the plant DNA and chitinase is used for the fungus DNA, fungal DNA that is that. Then the second step is agrose gel electrophoresis method. The agrose gel electrophoresis method it separates the DNA fragments, the smaller and larger fragments and with the help of ethylene bromide and agrose gel and the DNA uh, fragments they move towards the anode. So we have studied earlier. Then uh, the third step is amplification of gene by PCR. PCR means polymerase gene reaction. By this method, uh, the genes are multiplied. So it is known as the amplification. Then after amplification, the fourth is the insertion of recombinant DNA into the host cell. Then after amplification, we insert the recombinant DNA. Recombinant DNA is the foreign DNA. Uh, it is inserted into the host cell with the help of micro injections of the gene gun. And the third step is to obtaining the foreign gene product by the use of chlorine vector and uh, by use of bioreactors and downstream processing for separation and purification of uh, these extracted DNAs. So it is all about the recombinant DNA technology.